Hello students, today we are going to read an interesting story. The Ashes That Made Trees Bloom is based in Japan. Written by William Eliot Griffiths. William Eliot William Eliot Griffiths was born on 17 September 1843 in Philadelphia, an American Orientalist and prolific writer. In September 1870, he was invited to Japan for the purpose of organizing schools. His well-known books are Bushido, The Soul of Japan, Japanese Fairy World. The story is about an honest and hard-working couple who live with their pet dog, Muko. The greedy and the cruel nature of their neighbors results in death of the dog. Once there lived an old couple. They had a pet dog, Muko. The old couple had no child. They loved the dog as if it were a baby. The kind couple fed the dog with their own chopsticks. In return, the dog was very faithful to them. The old man was a rice farmer and worked from the sunrise to sunset in his field. He was accompanied by Muko to the field. Like his master, the dog never harmed any living creatures. One day, the dog put his paws against the old man's leg. He motioned with his head to some spot behind. To please his pet, the old man followed him. At a little distance from there, the dog stopped. It started scratching the ground. The old man struck his hoe in the earth. He found a pile of gold. So the old couple became rich. They gave a feast to their friends and helped their poor neighbors. He also bought a piece of land. In the same way, there lived a big old man and his wife. The big couple disliked dogs. They had always kicked the dogs whenever any dog passed their house. Hearing of their neighbor's good luck, they coaxed, coaxed the dog in his garden, hoping they would find treasure. So they set before the dog bits of fish and other tasty food. But the dog being afraid of the food of the cruel pair would neither eat nor move. They dragged the dog out of doors. They walked with him. When they reached a pine tree, the dog began to scratch the ground. The wicked couple was delighted. Both of them dug the ground. What they got was a dead kitten. The couple became angry and killed the dog. Then they flung him into the hole they had dug. They heaved the earth over his carcass. Students, you want to know what happened next? So, to know this, you have to watch the next video. So, we will continue the story in the next video. Now, it's time to see what we have learned from this content. Here are the questions for you. Question number one is... Which pet did the old couple have? Options are a pet dog, squirrel, goat or elephant. Correct answer is a pet dog. Next is what did the kind farmer do with the money he made from the gold? Options are bought a piece of land, posted a feast for his friends, helped his poor neighbors or all of the above. Answer is all of the above. Now your third question is what was the profession of the old man? Options are he was landlord, he was a rice farmer, he was a woodcutter or he was a weaver. Answer is he was a rice farmer.
Students, in this question, you have to complete the statement by choosing the correct option given below. So, let's try to understand. The old farmer and his wife loved the dog Dash. Options are because it helped them in their day-to-day -day work as if it were their own baby, as they were kind to all living beings or as they were poor. Correct option is as if it were their own baby. Students, now it's time to practice some questions from the story. So let's see what's given in the text. Here we come to working with the story. You have to attempt these three questions by your own. Now let's understand what's given in the questions. Question number one is the old farmer is a kind person. What evidence of his kindness do you find in this part of the story? Question number two is why did the neighbors kill the dog? And the last question of this video is what did the dog do to lead the farmer to the hidden gold? That's it for today kids. Till then keep practicing, keep helping others. Thanks for watching.